on Backstreet. K my boy, Chris Kirkpatrick. Chris Kirkpatrick was the originator and put this group together. Where is he? Is he in here? Chris! Are you hiding from me? Most likely he is hiding from me. Chris, are you gambling? Hiding? Eating? Alright, well, Chris is the one to put together this next group. Let's hit it! Yo, here he comes! Give it up for me! Got it. I was over there. Well, look, I need you to do me a little favor. Give them a little bit of history on how you put together the group. Hold on, hold on. I'll give you a little history on David Nickel. So this guy right here, back in the day, when we were starting out, we used to go to these, like, flipping gyms and, like, all this crazy stuff. And David Nickel was the guy that was crazy. Like, he was doing all this insane flips and stuff. We're like, all right, that's what we want to do. And he can sing... He could do it all. Now, granted, he was like 20 years older than us. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's only like a year older than me. But he was the guy that we always looked up to, too. And when we went over to Europe, he went over to Europe, and he had singles over there. He was choreographing people over there. He was singing over there. This guy... No, I'm, I'm not a basketball... You, you were playing basketball. I got injuries. At my age, I got injuries. I got like, warped knees. I got warped back. And this guy's like older than me, and I'm just looking at him going, oh my god, how does he still do this? How do hold on, hold on. David Nichol was in Europe and had an accident. Right? A crazy. Look at you. I hate you. How are you still this beautiful and this talented and still killing it? Like, I got no excuse. I got no excuse. I didn't have an accident and I look like this. Like, this guy right here is a champion. This guy was somebody we looked up to. All of us looked up to. And I really wish... It would have like blown up way bigger here than it did because over in Europe you blew up You had your thing. There were so many people to look up to you including us including Backstreet including LFO including all the 90s bands He's choreographed these bands. He's done so much with all the groups over there. This guy right here. First of all, it is his birthday Happy birthday So we all need to represent and understand one of the originators of, it's not, it's the 90s sound, but we looked at it as the Orlando sound, the Central Florida sound. But guys, we were all together back in the day and it's just funny that it happened the way it did and we all ended up where we were, looking back on it going, man, do you remember that time it was so hot in that stupid warehouse? <laughs> And that really weird guy, Lou Perlman, and all these guys. Uh -huh. Hey, easy, 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 hey. easy. He ain't here to defend himself. I'm not saying he's a great guy, but he ain't here to defend himself. <laughs> how it all worked out, and how this guy right here, this guy right here, really inspired a lot of us. And really brought the best out, because when he was up there doing it, we wouldn't do it better. And we couldn't, but we wanted to do it better. But that made us who we were, and that made us go, man, we can't just sing. You can't just stand up there and get on a stool and go, oh, let's do five-part harmony, like, uh, the Temptations. Nothing against Temptations. This is, it was a new generation. Like, you had to get out there. You had to dance. You had to move. You had to flip. You had to be better than what came before. We were not better than the Temptations, but you had to think in your mind that you wanted to be better and you wanted to do good. And this guy right here? Yeah. Happy birthday, David Nichols! You want to think better than you can. Perfect words of advice. 
think better than you can. Hey, when you get your age, you cry over a lot of stupid shit, I understand. But that's, that's, that's a, that's a god awful truth. We all looked up to this guy. And he really made, he really made